from his studios in New York. It's time for Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora, where sports meets life. Here's your host, Dan Tortora. Welcome here to Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora on WakeUpCallDT.com, your one-stop sports shop, and on MixLR.com backslash WakeUpCallDT. It's an honor and a privilege, as always, to speak with you. Today we have plenty coming up on the show. We're going to start the show off with Mike Wheeler. Typically, we start off with Papa Joe's Picks right at 9 a.m., but Mike Wheeler and the team are traveling down to Florida for the OCC women's basketball team, so we're going to speak with them here to start off the show, then we'll get Papa Joe on the line for Papa Joe's picks and college football talk, as well as talk on the coaching carousel of the NFL and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And in the second hour of the show, we'll get back to fantasy football, which I'm very excited to share with you today with Mike Sofka of Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com. So, with that being said, plenty of show coming up. And OCC Lasers women's basketball team ahead of their tournament that will be happening in Florida are here with us right now with head coach Mike Wheeler, who is no stranger to the broadcast. Mike, how are we doing today? Good, Dan. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And and first and foremost, Mike, just what you could say about, you know, how this season has has kind of kicked off for you and how things have gone up to this point as you head into that tournament down in Florida. Just what your takeaways have been so far on the team. Well, we're, we're playing great basketball right now. Um, we're 9-3 and three overall. We're 6-0 uh, and oh in our region, and uh, we're ranked number five in the country right now. Um, so, you know, things are well. Uh, uh, we've had a couple weeks off here for the holidays, and um, we just started practicing again last week, and uh, we're headed down to uh, the Miami Invitational for, uh, for a, um, a holiday tournament, New Year's uh, tournament, and uh, it's going to be a great Great competition for us down there. Division one programs we're playing against scholarship schools, um, so this will be great for us uh, as we come back and start our conference play January twelfth. When you look at you know, like how things have started uh, so far for you, like you said, nine and three, and, and being ranked in the top five in the country, is the team on pace to what you were kind of looking for? Do you feel like you know the way the team has played so far has been what maybe expectations were? Is it above it? Is it below it? How is the team comparative as to what you thought you had kind of going into the season? Well, I thought it in the beginning of the season we were very um, unsure of things and, and how things were going to develop. We we knew we had talent wise, um, you know, basketball we had basketball talent, um, but we had a lot of young freshmen coming in, uh, especially at the guard position, um, and, and we really didn't have. Um, we haven't had great guard play in the last couple of years. Um, we've had a couple of good guards that. It helped us get through. Our posts are really been um, what's been getting us through. Um, but we got some young freshman guards that can play this year. Uh, uh, some local kids. I got a couple kids from out of the area um, that came in for us that can um, shoot the basketball, which is something that we haven't really had. You know, we've been really um, – we haven't been very good from three, and this year we're, we're very good from three. I got a, um, you know, a girl from Montsealus Valley. Her name's Amber Max. Knocked out nine threes in the game for us against Hudson Valley in December, um, and, and she had about 19 threes, three, four games combined, um, which is something we really haven't had in the past couple of seasons. So, um, where we are there right now, the freshmen are really starting to play um, uh, really well, um, and we, you know, we got a preseason All American in um, Sydney York for research Circus Manoa. That's it's just uh, one of our our best post players. She's coming up on a thousand points in her two years here at, at, at OCC, so uh, uh, it's been it's been definitely above what we expected um, because we're playing, they play real well together. Speaking here with the OCC Lasers women's basketball head coach Mike Wheeler this morning on Wake Up Call with Dan Tortora. Uh, the first team that you're playing, Mike, in this in this tournament down in Florida, you'll be in Miami, Florida, or in these two games, I should say, down in Florida, you'll be at Miami-Dade College in Miami, Florida, on for the January 7th game at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. They've already played 17 games Miami-Dade. They're 10-7. and 7. Just your thoughts on them, what you know about them going into this, and I know you guys have played uh, 12 games up to this point. Just what you could say about you know going up against a team that's played almost 20 games already. 
or be in D1 down there. They have a lot of D1 programs in Florida, um, so they're able to um, play a ton of games. And, and, you know, everybody is from that area. Um, so, you know, even over holidays, they, they're playing a couple days after Christmas, a couple days before Christmas. Um, you know, so it, it's, it's a lot. I think it's an advantage for them to continue to play. Um, and, and, and for us, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be a tough match for us because they're, they're, they're big. They're 6'3", six, 6'2", six, in the middle. Um, they're, they're smallest guard, 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, um, you know, we, you know, we, we start 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, um, you know, six foot at the post. So it's going to be a little mismatch for us. Um, but, you know, our, our program's gone down there and faced teams like this before. Um, just before our Christmas break, um, we played uh, a Villa Maria team um, in Buffalo that was um, a, a, like a scholarship school that had amazing talent. Um, and, you know, we, we held our own against a, a team that was scholarship and actually had the leader in the second half against them um, before they, you know, they pulled away at the end, you know, we ended up losing by 18, 20 points. But, um, you know, we're, I think for us, it's, it's a challenge for us. And um, I think competing wise is where we want to be because these games are not going to hurt us um, when we come home. It's not going to hurt us our ranking. Um, it's not going to hurt us in our regional play because they're division one programs and we're a D three program. Um, so I, I'm, I'm just excited about the competing against teams like this because it's only going to make us better in the long run when we return and start our conference play. And like you said, these games can only help you, uh, not hurt you in the grand scheme of things. How important is this to have a, at this point in the season, 12 games in, to play these games that can only help you as you move forward into conference play in the MSAC? Just, you know, why, why have these games and, and why have them at this point in the season, just what it can do for the team? As you said, it's not going to hurt us. It can only help us move forward. Well, now, I don't want to say this in jinxing things, um, but you know, we, we've been to Florida five or six times in the past, well, 14 years, um, and every time we've gone to Florida, we've gone to the final four. I don't want to break any... Uh, you know, break any trend here. I hope that continues. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we going, us going down there and playing against these teams, I think it gives uh, my kids an opportunity to see really um, how they stack up against um, really good programs. And, you know, they're, they're not going to see any of those type of teams when we come back. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to be prepared for what our region and what our conference has when we get back. So I think this is a great time to do this as it's the midway point of our season. Um, and then when we come back, we start the part of our season when it comes to January and February. That coming from Mike Wheeler, OCC Lasers women's basketball head coach. Uh, Mike, before I let you go, like you said, you know, they're, they're not going to play any teams like that when they come back up here and, and they get back, they get into the MSAC and whatnot. So just for you, you know, I, I've talked with other coaches about this, having those games, where you're playing back-to-back days or every other day or you're playing on neutral court and whatnot, a lot of different situations or playing early as, and then maybe a game that's later, you know, doing things that you have to do to prepare yourself for a tournament-style thing. Just what you could say about, you know, wanting to have these games on your schedule, wanting to have these teams that, you know, your, your young ladies are not going to see up in central New York and upstate New York, but they could see – as they progress forward in the tournament, just why that's so important to you and what that does for your program and for this team to, you know, get their mindset in, in a bigger place. That's not just inside of the MSAC. Well, I think first, Dan, let me say like the, before we get into the game aspects of things, um, the trip itself, I think is a, a great thing for us. Um, because it's a, a team thing. Um, we're a big thing, you know, we're a big family, um, you know, and that's one thing we have on our shooting shirts this year is family on the back of our shirts. So we're, we're all very close. They're all very close together. Um, so I think just the camaraderie together down here, um, having a trip like this together, um, I think builds us stronger, um, together and, and off the floor where I think it's something you need before you go on the floor and play your games because if you don't have that prior, um, it's not going to help you when you step on the floor. And I think that's one thing that we've had all season. Um, and I think that's only going to help us in that category 
way as we arrive here today in Florida. Um, secondly, um, you know, preparing for this. You know, we practice every day. We're down here. Um, it's not a vacation. It's 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 a team um, preparing to play two games in a row, like you just talked about. We practice tomorrow um, through the weekend before we play Monday, Tuesday, and then before we come home, we practice down there as well to get prepared for our conference play as it starts next Saturday. Um, so I think all that together um, is something that helps our team and, and helps the program um, when we do something like this and play um, competition like this at this level. It's, it's only going to help you um, get better. And coming from Mike Wheeler, OCC Lasers women's basketball head coach. Uh, Mike, in closing here, just what you can say about you know th- this new year and this team and and just what you have. I know we talked about what you what you've seen through the first twelve games, but just you know maybe some of these uh, young women that have stepped up, maybe some of the catalysts for you, or if it is a team effort, just how you've seen things go to get a little bit deeper into those leaders that you have as you head into this opportunity down in Florida. Well, you know, I got to say that um, I think the big thing going into the new year is the way our freshmen played the first half. I talked about it earlier, um, and we need to continue to have our freshmen um, play well for us. Um, and we've we've had consistency in that category. And our our post players, um, we have, we have, we really rotate three three girls in um, Sydney or Danielle Gates and. Um, Carly Wooker, um, they are um, post players that just um, do a great job on the glass for us, um, you know, and, and they score inside. Uh, but, you know, we're at a point right now where we have we have everyone behind us. We're 6-0 in the region, 14 teams in our region. Um, and the big thing for us now is, is we want to run the table and, and have that regional tournament posted at our home floor in the first weekend in March. Um, and give ourselves an opportunity to go down to uh, Bethlehem, PA, for the national tournament um, this year. So, so that's really what our, our look is right now. One game at a time. Um, you know, we're going to take this, but when we come home, really, is one that's going to start January 12th. When we want to start, you know, focusing on, on where we want to be in March. Um, and, and I think the girls know that. They look at the standings. You know, we're six and zero, and and everyone's got at least one tally in that loss column, except us. So we want to make sure that. When we get home, we don't we don't add a tally to that loss count. And that first home game that you can see with uh, the MSAC Corning Community College game coming up on January 12th at noon Eastern time in Syracuse at Allen Hall at OCC to go out and support the team. <clears throat> and they will have a game shortly after that, uh, a week after that on January 19th as well with two road games in between against Broome and Jefferson. As always, Mike, I appreciate having you here. Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing you soon. But in the meantime, as I just got back from Florida in the bowl game and you're going down to Florida, take care of my uh, my second home for me and enjoy that weather and, and obviously get some work done and come back with two W's that you can take with you and the team can take with themselves as they move forward. So we look forward for nothing but good news from you. And I know that uh, you guys are going to go out there and, and do your best. So travel safe, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Dan, thanks for having me, and Happy New Year again. All right, take care. That coming from Mike Wheeler, once again, the OCC women's basketball head coach for the Lasers. The team is currently nine wins into their season so far, and they're in good standing right now, and they will have the opportunity to face Miami-Dade College and ASA College of Miami on January 7th and January 8th coming up here as they're flying down today on January 3rd, giving themselves plenty of time of preparation to play in these two games before they head home against Corning Community College, and then we'll go on the road for a couple and then come home once again. The MSAC is coming up here. There's plenty of games between now and February 19th in the regular season before the Mid-State Athletic Conference Championship comes up for the MSAC. So thank you to Mike Wheeler, as always, for coming on to the show. We appreciate OCC and have been covering OCC every year for the last umpteen years, and I have nothing but The utmost respect for the work that he's doing as well as Eric Cerrone of the men's side of OCC's Lasers basketball program.